Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to set up Outlook Automatic Reply. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So there's actually two ways for you to set up Automatic Reply on your account in Outlook. So the first method I'll be showing you is through the use of Automatic Replies from the name itself. So at the top left of your screen, click on File here. And under file, what we need to do is we need to go to info here and under info, look for automatic replies. Now in this case, this option or this feature here is actually used for you to uh, notify different people that you're currently out of office and you won't be able to basically automatically or you won't be able to immediately reply to them on their concerts. So if you want to do that, just click automatic replies and from here, you'll be able to set it to send automatic replies and send or basically set a specific date for you to basically start sending those emails or or you want to basically end it on a specific date in this case you could go ahead and just compose your e uh, email here like for example i want to say hey i'm not in the office but this is just an example you could go ahead and edit it in a way that is professional but in this case, I'm going to use this one, click on OK. And from here, as you can see, it's now automatic turned on. And when people actually emails me or sends me a message, they will receive that specific reply that I set up for my automatic replies option here. Now in this case, just click on turn off if you want it to turn off. But for now, let's just head to the second way for us to set up automatic reply. So the second way is reuse off rules and alerts. So at the bottom section here, just click on manage rules and alerts. And from here, we want to add a new rule. Now under new rule, we want to choose the options, apply rule on messages, click on next. And from here, what we need to do next is we need to choose a condition wherein we want the specific rule would trigger. Now, for example, you want to say that it actually triggers that, uh, for example, the email was only sent to you. So if an email is sent or sent from a specific public group, you can go ahead and use that. But for now, let's just choose the send only to me and just hit on next. And from here, we need to select our actions. Now, in this case, there's going to be two options that we can use in this case. We have the use a specific or a specific message, or we want to reply with a specific template. Now, if beforehand you already created a email template that you frequently use, you can use the specific template here. But if you don't have a template yet, just use the specific message here. And from here, click on a specific message section at the bottom section. And from here, you could go ahead and just compose your uh, email here. Like for example, I want to say hi here. Just click on save and close once you are good. And from here, click on next. Now, we also have the exception section here. Like for example, you want to uh, add an exception on specific emails. Like for example, if it came from someone else or a very specific person, you could go ahead and, and add exceptions from the name itself. So let's go ahead and click on next since we don't want to add exceptions. And from here, you just need to add a name for this rule. And from here, just click on finish and you'll be able to basically add this rule. So whenever someone actually message you, you'll be able to automatically reply to that specific message with conditions. But for now, let's just hit on apply and uh, you should be good. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.